it is possible to be warm on your motorcycle. There's more cops. There's also a police station right there. I'm screwed. I'm surrounded. There's nowhere to go. What kind of ticket would that be? Probably like $350 lane splitting. Illegal merge. Another like $250. $600. It's like what? Four points? Yeah. Worth it. The f are you doing? You are a straight up banana. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another vloggy vlog on this gorgeous Tuesday morning. I'm cruising here in Brooklyn and it's a crispy crispy morning I tell you. It's 30 degrees. It was actually 27 when I woke up and it's warming up but it's 30 degrees feels like 18. The wind chill is what really gets you here. Tires are frozen gotta be vertical 20 degrees feels like temperature is brutal especially when you're gonna go like 50 or something on the highway that's gonna be like negative something and which is a, why this is a perfect day to test my new Saint armored puffer jacket because it's made for situations just like this I still had to layer up underneath it but the beauty of it of this jacket is that it affords you because like I have a leather jacket that I wear not only does it weigh twice as much it's heavy which is a good thing but it's also like you know I was gonna say it limits your mobility but with this thing this jacket is lighter and it affords me a little more room to layer up and still move around because being mobile on a bike is literally like number one thing you got to be flexible and I think that's like my favorite thing so far because I don't I, I mean I like my I love my leather jacket but this thing right here just kind of lets you be light and it's a little bit more of a casual style you know which I which I also prefer and I feel like it's gonna take more punishment I always hate riding in my leathers uh, in a rain and sleet but I feel like this thing is gonna take it and so far I'm not cold at all but we're also very early into our journey the biggest test here is uh, the temperature because if this thing can withstand temperature oh come on bro dude don't do this to me come on who's upset Somebody's upset. I don't know who it is though. I'm kind of uh, out of sync a little bit. Come on, bro. Um, yeah, like my, my fingers are fine because I'm wearing my heated gloves. So that's good. Because I did the unboxing video for this jacket the other day but it was also like 43 degrees feels like 40 and I was like no we need a and I did right that day and I, I, that, that video will be up the fuck are you doing you are a straight up banana uh, and that video will be up but this one will be the true proper first test and so far so good my dashboard is always as lying and saying it's 32 degrees that's not right it's always uh downplaying my accomplishments i assure you my phone says like 28 something there's also a thermometer that we're gonna pass along this road that thing will probably say 35 The thing is, it's like one hip thing to ha is to have all the proper gear because, like, normally I'd go over there, but too much, uh, too much for these cold tires. We're just gonna relax. Um, yeah, but it's also about like keeping your head leveled. You're not trying to uh, do anything crazy on cold ass tires. Excuse me, sir. A 
a bit of wind chill test. bad. I think my neck is unzipped. My neck is the only place that's uh, getting hit right now, even though I'm wearing uh, a turtleneck, kind of thermal, but I think it's unzipped. I never like to zip up my jackets all the way, just because I don't like them touching my neck, and this is why. It is the number one area that is cold right now, but it's not even cold. It's cold, like, conversationally. That said, totally fine. Now, that said, you gotta be layered up underneath, you know? I'm wearing two thermals. Ugh. Oh, the joy. This is what it's like. This is what I do. One inch at a time towards freedom. What time we got? Ooh, we're making up time. We're golden. Excuse me, sir. Wonder if the tires are warming up at all. The bike is at 136. 32 degrees outside. Lies. Lies. Dude, I could cruise right now. Ooh, look at this guy. Solid move, brother. Connecticut Jeep YOLO It's like me Makes me feel bad Now I feel bad for doing what I'm doing You know what I mean? Makes me look like a A jerk This guy But the guy behind me is freaking out I'm gonna get out of here Ooh, I love this uh, Color That's a gorgeous color right there, bro that is a nice color. Not a bad color at all. Oh, there's NYPD, of course. Now, what do I do? I wonder if they're busy. Which way do I go? It's telling me to go over here. talking in nice and easy nice and gentle on these rock hard cold tires Mmm, the sun. The sun feels nice. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to the right. Out of everybody's way. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. There we go. We'll stop here. The way the cops can get me. No, oh, there's more cops. There's also a police station right there. I'm screwed. I'm surrounded. There's nowhere to go. What kind of ticket would that be? Probably like $350 lane splitting. Illegal merge. Another like $250. 600 It's like, what, four points? Yeah. Worth it. Just to test this jacket. You know what I mean? Just to test the jacket. I hate it when you don't apply the pin lock properly and it's a, a oh look it's a Harley guy but yeah like I have like a little spot uh, bottom right right there obviously you can't see it uh, but yeah it's like a little foggy spot which isn't cool these guys are taking it easy man I wonder if they're inside cars Family. 
I'm not doing that. I'm not doing all that. This bus turning? Yes, he is. Son of a potato. That's fine. Do it by the book. Make sure there's nobody swinging around. We're good. There we are. This bus turning and going straight. I think they're going straight. I think we're going to be stuck behind it. Say la vie. Say la vie. Is he going to run the light? Oh, hell yeah. Solid move, brother. Ah, look, they put all this salt down. Um, everywhere. It's the wind chill. Because the temperature, if like if, if you wake up, and it, for me, if it's 30 degrees, it's nothing. It's not much of it. And I'm not trying to sound cool, but I'm trying to sound cold. Get it? <laughs> uh, it's, but I always look at the feels like, because I always forget, New York City is right by the water, right by the ocean, god darn it. And uh, some mornings it's fucking ripe. But that said, my bike is not telling me it's 34 degrees, so one of us is lying. One of us is making it seem dramatic. Bike don't care. I mean, the bike is at 190 degrees. Of course, the bike thinks it's 34. Me, meanwhile, I'm at like 98 or below. This is not a competition between man and machine. Look at this guy sending it, bro. I'm gonna go to the left here. Because over there, it's always wet. They got like construction and shit over there. There's construction over here too. It's a mess. Oh, and a bus. We're screwed. There's gonna be tough decisions to be made. Don't wanna lean too hard. Nice and gentle. Ooh, these people hate me because I went around them before. Oh, they're taking their sweet time. There's so much construction everywhere. And sometimes they just block the street while they wait for themselves to make decisions. Oh, that, that's a small gap. Oh, we got it. Hilarious. I set off that car alarm. Oopsie. Oh my goodness, that person just fell. That's black ice. God damn. That person just fell. Ooh, I gotta watch out for that. That was straight up black ice. Ouch. Look at this ice shit. Ouch. That person literally was just picking themselves up. Brutal. room here certainly mm. not particularly we'll find something not the stress the only issue is the temperature it's not the most ideal parking looking temperature but the thing is look I'm not cold at all I'm not uh, my neck is not cold anymore my middle finger on my left hand is cold but that's like kind of unrelated in a way, right? So I could park right here. That's a spot. Let me see. What else we got here? Mm. Let's see if there's any uh, spots over here by the, the beautiful water. Technically could park next to this baby. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I think that's realistic. So, Saint Armor Puffer. A real life test of a real life temperature. Passes with flying colors. I 
I do recommend it. And the best part, like I said, is the, you can't see it, but the room it gives me, you know? In the leather jacket, I'm like a little bit more restricted. This right here, it's perfect. And look at this bike. What a gorgeous machine. This thing didn't want to fucking start up this morning for a second. I had to like massage it for like literally 30 seconds. Or not 30, but 10. All right. So this is the this is the part of the routine that is less exciting because it's too cold. But it has to be done. Boom. Here we go. I would be curious to see how this jacket will perform in a proper test for like if I did this for like an hour because anybody can uh, anybody can cruise for 10 minutes but, but a real test would be a longer ride but that said you know if you are doing some sort of expedition riding uh, where you're required to be below freezing for extended period of time you'd probably be, be wearing some sort of a crazy jacket and not a uh, not one of these babies Chilly, but worth it. Alright, so the bike is locked up. We're good. Solid work. Devious work. Ooh, could have parked right there. Next to the sick e-tron. It's all good. But look at this. Having good gear allows you to casually <laughs> stroll out. Like, I'm not freezing. I'm not rushing. This is for reals. It is possible to be warm on your motorcycle. All right, you know what? This is great, but I got a job to do. I got a job to do. Look at that bike. What a gorgeous bike. Are you joking me? That's mine. Sheesh. And look at this man over here. Loves his car. Loves that thing. Dumbo. Look at this thing. Audi, man. Audi does it for me. They really, really do. Cross tracks, too. Ooh. That's a nice one. Nice wheels. That's how I would stance mine out. Alright kids, this is it. Thank you for watching as always. And I will talk to you soon.